Now let us see how to and how to filter the null values. So filtering the nulls. Okay. So let me create a new notebook for it. So I have given you a data which we need to handle. So I have given you the link for that. So let me create a data here. Let me create a new data frame here. So for that I need a data. So I have just uh, used the script. I will be giving you this data for the practice and let me execute this. Once I execute it, I will start creating a data frame. So here we are using a row function. So we need to import the row function here. So we need to first import all the functions from PySpark SQL. Let me import from PySpark dot SQL dot functions. Let me import all. Okay, so when you are working on, you can import all the types also. So from PySpark dot well dot types types you import all. Okay, so we can just do this before we start creating a data frame and transformation. Okay, so this has been executed. Now I'm creating a data frame that is Spark dot create data frame. And then pass on the user's data in this. Okay. So we have a lot of null values here. Let me show you. Let me pass on this and use a display function to get the output. Okay. Display and execute. Yeah, beautiful. You can see here. So we got the some of the null values in the amount paid. We have some null values in the courses. There is no value here in the current city. There is no value. So you try to understand how is the empty value is different from the null value. So just see here. So wherever you have a none here, none, that means that you have a null value. Okay. So we are like filtering this null value and showing you the results. If you want the data frame to be ordered correctly like whatever order we have given suppose I want the ID column first first name second and so on but here we got the data frame with the ascending order so you can do that by using the pandas data frame function so let me show you how you can do that so I'll create a new data frame that is users df and I'll say spark I'm creating a new data frame now create data frame and here I'll be writing pd dot data frame data frame F capital and I will be passing on the users data here. So from here I will be copying on the users data. Okay. So before executing this we need to say what is PD. PD is nothing but pandas. So we need to import we need to import pandas as pd okay first you need to execute this code and then you need to execute this code so executing this it has executed and now if you use display users data frame users df so you get the correct order you can see this first is id first name second name uh, first name last name email gender and so on so this is how you can create a data frame using a pandas data frame function. Okay guys. Now let us move forward now. Like if you want to find out the user's name, whose user's name, whose city is null. So you whose current city is null. We need to pull out these details. So to do that, so let me take this data frame. So the data frame is user's data frame. Let me copy this users data frame dot. So I'll be using a select data frame function. I'll be selecting the IDs and I'll be selecting the current city like who is not who is having the null. Okay. So current city and then I'm going to use a function called data frame function filter. I'm going to filter the 
current city column so for that i am referring a function called call so column of current city current city here i'll be using dot is null okay so whatever is null in the current city that will be filtered and your id and the current city column will be printed okay? so let me use dot show at the end so that you get a results here so you get two columns that is id column and the current city column so i can say that this id number 5 with this first name is or who whose city is null you can see that so you can do in this way or you can do in a sql like sql syntax also like let me copy this so you can do in this way also let me remove all this and here you can use a filter and then you put a quote here and write your column name that is current city current city is is null so this is a sql si sql type syntax this also works so let me execute this yeah you can see that you got a same output so from this we can say that is null is used to find out the users whose city is null the records you want to see all the rows or all the columns whose city is null so let me copy this code to save some time and instead of taking only two columns let me take a star here let me put a star so i get all the fields i mean all the columns and that will be filtered with the column current city where it is null okay so you can see all the result here like all the columns so his id is five his first name his last name his email address is female and his current city is null so now if i ask you a very simple question like get all the details whose city is not null let me write it here write a simple task for you so get all the users users whose city is not null okay. come on So if I want to find out all the users detail whose city is not null. So let me copy this. Let me copy this. And instead of is null here. So what I'll do I'll just select all the columns. So I'll just put star here and filter out the current city column. And where I want to filter out where the records are not null. So let me show you. Now you can see you get records one two three four because fifth id contains the current city as null so here we got an empty record so empty is different from the null so wherever you have null that has been removed by using this not null you can use in one more syntax like you can use a sql type syntax like this where you can write that in a string yeah just instead of current city is null you need to write is not null so let me execute this or you can see here so uh, we got all the user ids where your current city is not null so this is how you can filter the null values